There are wonderful properties that exponents actually exhibit. And if we're careful and think through, we can actually make wonderful discoveries. Let me share some of them with you by first warming up, just thinking about exponents here. So what does this mean? Well, what this means is 5 raised to the third power. The base here is 5, and the, the exponent is this number 3. And what it means is that we have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 three times. That exponent indicates how many times I multiply the base by itself. So in this case, 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. Neat. What about something crazy like this? This is the quantity negative 7 squared. So what does that mean? Well, because those, uh, that negative sign is lassoed within the parentheses, we have to be very careful. This is negative 7 multiplied by itself. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 7 is 49, so this is 49. Here, the base is negative 7, and the exponent is 2. All right. What about this one? Negative 2 to the fourth. Well, if we remember the, the order of operations, we realize that we first do the powers first before introducing any signs. And if we wanted that negative sign to be raised to the fourth power, then we'd have to have actually written it, as we've written the previous example, lasso that with parentheses. But there are no parentheses. So in fact, what this says is put a negative sign in front of 2 to the fourth. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And so what we see here, since there's a negative sign in front, negative 16. We have to be very, very sneaky. Here, the base is not negative 2. The base here is 2, the exponent is 4, and there's a negative sign in front of the whole quantity. Very cool. Turns out that we can actually take a look at bases and exponents, and the question is, how can we combine many, many powers together? Turns out there's some fantastic formulae that will make that pretty easy.